Panera Bread. You know, when you walk inside, it got a good smell to it. The soups are off the hook. You got some good sandwiches and a bakery. And they got the nerve to sell you a kitchen sink cookie because it got everything but the kitchen sink in it. But if you look beyond the natural realm, you have to look in the spirit. That's why the word of God says we are not to be moved by our senses. In fact, it's called devilish. We are to be walking in the spirit and not after the flesh. So it looks like Panera Bread is the next on the list that we got to expose. Now, unlike the New Age Cheesecake Factory, Panera Bread is not a temple, but a declaration. What do I mean by that? I'd rather just cut straight to the mustard, shall we? And by the way, let me make known that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, the Son of God, is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And now that I made that declaration, let's keep it moving. If you look at the word Panera Bread, you see, Panera Bread is a declaration. As I've told you in the past, and I'll tell you again, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but what? Against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. So you have to look at it like a parallel. The high places in the natural realm, the billionaires that own these companies, I would like to say all, but at least nine out of 10 of them are Luciferians. You understand? The majority of them are Luciferians. They have to come together and they have an agenda. And just like a blood or a crip or another type of gang member, they have to wear a certain color and thro throw a certain hand sign. They have to let you know who they rep. Well, the Luciferians do it through their music, through their restaurants, through Hollywood, through movies. They have to let you know that they have bowed their knee to Satan, to the enemy, period. It's a fact. You don't have to believe it. But I thank God because a lot of y'all walk in the spirit. So now, what is this declaration that I want to show you that was revealed to me? You see, when you seek God and when you love Christ, he will reveal the things hidden in the darkness. He declared that in the book of Daniel. If you look at the word Panera, it's based on two words. One is a name and one is a word. You have Pan and then you have the word Era. So in reality, what is Pan? This is one of the false demon gods that the witches worship. He, they call him the God of nature, but we ain't, we know he ain't no God of nature. Jesus Christ commanded the wind and the ocean to be still. Pan will bow his knee to the son of God on that day. But let's just talk about it. So the witches say that Pan is the God of nature. They say they don't believe in the devil, but yet Pan looks exactly like the Baphomet that the Satanists worship. So sad, they're so blinded. That's why you have to pray for these witches. You have to pray for the Luciferians. Because wouldn't that be amazing to see, to see people in high places get saved? Come on, saints. We can't be negative-minded. We have to be hopeful that God can save whoever he wants if they call his name. But let's get to it. So Pan, they call him the god of nature, uh, of the wind, of, of the, he's the god of the wild. And he's also a god of sexuality to them. That's why a lot of these witches will do, they'll go in the woods and dance around naked, all creeped out. Remember there was a movie that came out a while back called Witch. And towards the end of the movie, it was a goat that was actually Satan operating through the witches. You see? The devil exposes himself, but he don't care now because he knows his time is short. So if you break this word down, so you have the word pan, right? Which is a name. 
In fact, even the word panic comes from the word pan, right? But let, let's get deep with it, though. Let's talk about this because the word era means what? It's a period identified by some prominent figure, a prominent figure or characteristic features. You see that? A fixed point in time from which a series of years is reckoned. So is it safe to say that Panera means the era of Pan? It's the era of witchcraft. Because Pan is a false god and era means a period identified by a prominent figure. So really what they're saying is this is the Pan era or the era of witchcraft. Do you see it now? Now, some of you might be closed-minded. You may not walk in the spirit. You might say, brother, words, man, come on, man. You reaching, bro. I really don't care what you say. My job is to present the truth. What you do with it is your choice. We don't do that around here. We don't dominate, manipulate, intimidate. We don't force people to believe. It has to be with your own will that not only do you believe Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah, is Lord, but you also have to realize that this darkness is real. And there really is the children of the devil working behind the scenes in high places, communicating with the principalities and powers in high places. It's that simple. So now you got the pan era, right? The era of witchcraft. And you might be like, bro, I need a little more evidence than this. Did you know? One of their biggest sellers is called the Green Goddess Cobb Salad. I mean, if you're going to be a regular restaurant, why you got to bring gods and goddesses in the midst? Why you got to do that then? Unless there's an agenda. You have Pan, Era, and Pan is known to be their god of nature, trees and grass, and, and then you got a Green Goddess. Clearly, there's an agenda going on. But what if I told you it's deeper than that? But in the book of Revelation, you have the mark of the beast ushered by the Antichrist 666, right? Well, what would be the odds that if you look at the logo of Panera Bread, the woman is holding a loaf of bread like a baby. And you notice it isn't three regular lines like a baker would do. He would just put three little slits. They're sixes. Do you see it? How about now? Six, six, six. But I want to show you what they're really saying. I'll show you. Just take a walk with me. These things are being revealed to the saints of the Most High God. The Lord declared in the book of Daniel that he will reveal the things hidden in the darkness and show them to his saints. What Panera bread, what the Luciferians at the top are declaring through Panera, through Panera bread is this. That it is the Pan era, the witchcraft era. And they're ushering in. The son of perdition. That's why she's holding the bread like a baby and it's got 666. Because bread is supposed to represent Christ or teaching, right? Because he's the bread of life. Jesus said, beware of the bread or the leaven of the Pharisees. So really what they're saying is they're declaring the birth of the Antichrist, the son of perdition, as their bread. You see, the Antichrist, all through scriptures... Wherever he's talked about, he wants to be like the Most High God. He wants to be a false Christ, right? That's why he comes in peaceably. He, he deceives the people to think that he's actually God, but he's the enemy. So he wants to be bread, you see? And this is what they're declaring, saints. So I'm telling you, it's real. Now, you know our number one goal, what we mainly do, what our passion is, is showing you mysteries in the word, in the Bible, through Christ. What he shows us, we show you. And mainly, the revelations of Jesus Christ. The mysteries of the Son of God. But from time to time, we also have to expose darkness. We're called to do both. You can't just reveal the light and not expose darkness. You have to do both. Okay, so from time to time, we're going to expose restaurants like the Cheesecake Factory, like Panera Bread. 
We're going to expose Hollywood agendas, music industry agendas, false prophets on YouTube, and the list goes on. Whatever God shows us, we have to reveal to you. He said, what I tell you in the darkness, bring that to the light. Tell the people. We are a trumpet. We, we are a voice crying in the wilderness to warn you to wake up. Christ is real. The Luciferians at the top all get together and fallen angels and demonic entities in high places meet with them. I'm telling you, it's real. And they have agendas. They have things they have to do. They have to operate through sorcery, through symbolism, through enchantments to bewitch people. So I expose Panera Bread. So in Jesus Christ's name, Panera Bread is exposed as a witchcraft declaration with their little antichrist loaf of bread in the mother's arms. Or should we say the green goddess giving birth to the antichrist. You got the pan era, the era of the witches. Why you think Nicolas Cage came up with that movie not too long or a couple years back called The Season of the Witch? Notice the witch movies coming out. That one movie called Vitch, V-V-I-T-C-H. It was the goat that was operating with the witches the whole time. Saints of God, it is not a game. You got to get right with God and you got to get right with him now. You should be praying. You should be reading your word and putting it into your spirit, man. You should be fasting often. You should be striving to walk righteous. This is simplicity. This is the basics of the gospel, I'm telling you. You know very well, we point you to Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah. So what are you going to do with this knowledge? Are you going to get fascinated over it? Or is it going to draw you closer to the real bread of life? Because all of these Luciferians at the top, ask yourself why they strike at Jesus Christ. Why is the agenda always against the followers of the Messiah? Think about it. Pray with me. Father God, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, forgive us of our sins, Lord. Thank you for revealing these things that are hidden in the darkness. Help me to walk in the spirit, Lord. I don't want to be moved by my emotions, my sensuality, or the flesh. Help me, Lord, to be bold against the enemy. Give me that godly balance where I reveal the light of Christ, but I'm also not afraid to expose the darkness of the devil. Lord, I ask that you would soften the hearts of all those that watch this video to pray for those in high places to get saved. And I ask you, Lord, to break any spells off of the listeners, whether through divining, through witchcraft, through uh, logos and symbolism, wherever the enemy is operating against them, I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we await your return as we give glory to the Son of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. To our partners, we really thank y'all for your prayers and support. We're really trying to do a whole lot. We're up against a bunch of Goliaths. You understand what I'm saying to you? So we're very grateful for you to get in the fight with us. And if you're new to the channel, we love you. We ask you to watch the dinner table messages because you should want to know about Christ more than just exposing the enemy. Take a look at our YouTube channel. Go far down. Go back. Go two, three years back. There's a lot of great messages that Jesus Christ has given us that we want to give to you. If pan era bread is mocking, saying they want to give you the bread of the Antichrist or the teachings of the Antichrist, Shouldn't you want to have the bread of Christ and learn from his table? So will you meet me at the dinner table? I hope to see you in Jesus' name. You did not know we're there because they were hiding in the darkness. But just keep going. Keep going. He promises to wash that shame away. He promises to make you new. He promises. That he will never leave you Nor forsake you And I ran from him And he came And he got me When I try to do good And I seem to do wrong Why did you call my name? And then I find out I'm weak When I thought that I was strong So why
Christ Yeah